How's your energy Southern Arizona? It is now time for the Friday Football Fever, one of the most in-depth high school football shows right here in the crazy AZ. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Sikala. And I'm David Kelly. We've got a lot in store for you tonight as we have over half the way through this regular season with teams battling for playoff positioning. Morana, one of those teams, Paul, taking on Nogales tonight. Also, Coach Jeff Skern and Rio Rico headed to Sawarito while Choya took on the Caballeros of Flowing Wells and Walden Grove duked it out with Saguaro. Also, it was a battle for bragging rights in Vail with Micah Mountain and Empire striking back. <laughs> oh, you Star Wars there. <laughs> I see where you're going with that. Tucson High doesn't have galactic powers, but the Badgers were out of this universe against Mountain View. But for now, let's begin with with our Oasis heating and cooling game of the week, Buena at Cienega. And the news tonight, Joseph Thomas did not coach the Colts for a fourth straight game. He is suspended pending completion of an investigation by the Sierra Vista School District. His Colts four and one. Cienega tough schedule had them just one and four. Colts early trying to jumpstart themselves on special teams. Spencer Carter escaping one man. He's on his way. 35 yards going to give Buena's offense a great starting point. The Colts a fabulous sophomore running back. Andres Bonilla entered tonight with 917 yards in five games. Gives Buena the early lead. But you might say after that, Cienega got on point. Evan Weber throwing 50-50 balls, and his guy, Ari Dubin, on the right side of that 50 right there. It was rock a bye baby for the Colts after that. Sienega wins it 49-19. The baby! All right, on to the northwest side where the Nogales Apaches took on Marana High School. Marana fans coming out strong again, and Nogales looked pretty strong early with Benjamin Lay Shipley taking the handoff for a nice little game, but this is even nicer of a gain. In fact, might be play of the night. Miranda QB, Elijah Joplin wants to pass. He takes it himself instead and just runs around all the Apache defenders. It's a touchdown for the Tigers. The Nogales defense didn't hang their head low though. The Apaches would team up to stop this play. Baltasar Pacheco finished it off with a nice tackle there, but later in the drive, Miranda takes the momentum back. Numero uno, Desmond Roebuck catches the screen pass and he will take it all the way to the house, coming right at you. Moranis, no huddle offense was working like a machine. 77-16 is your final score. All right, tonight we got the Tucson High Badgers hosting Mountain View, the Mountain Lions. The band is definitely pumped up and ready to go. This game essentially was all view from the opening snap. First play of the game, Nicholas Horrocks gonna grab the easy INT, takes it all the way back for the pick six. And then backed up in their own end zone, Tucson quarterback Devin Newman drops back, but he's brought down by safety Edos Montano for the safety. Tucson had some good runs of their own, though Newman, the nice pump fake here, he ends up keeping himself, gets a long gain out of that. The Mountain Lions go on the road. They take this one big, 45-17. to 17. And David in Cochise County to be Canyon Del Oro and Douglas High School, and Jordan Thomas, the transfer from Ironwood Ridge, Got his first touch of the season on this punt return, and he is gone with the wind. Pew, pew, pew. 60 yards later, Caddy Doro leads in Douglas 7-0. This footage compliments of Javier Morales from AllSportsTucson.com. CDO moves to 5-1 after the 49-6 blowout. Hey, Tucson High coaching legend Jeff Skern and Rio Rico High School were hoping to continue their momentum after shutting out a previously 3-1 squad of Empire High School. And this evening, the boys from Santa Cruz County were hoping to move to 3-3 three three on the season as they took on a winless Sawarita High School team. And here is Coach Skurin, who's already turned around yet another team that he inherited with the winless 0-10 record the previous season. And Rio Rico would lead 7-0 tonight. And here, Reef Robbins, the QB, would hit Nathan Villegas to keep Rio Rico in field goal range, but the Hawks would leave the red zone empty-handed. And on the ensuing position, possession, rather, Sabrita's Eli Manzanares finds James Minor, but he'd be taken down right away by Adam Shatry. And after that, Israel Pedrego will be tripped up by Jose Perez. The defense looking impressive again for the Hawks. Then, how about Sebastian Plasencia with the big hit? as the ball flies loose and Jesse James, Octavio Callejo with the fumble recovery and Rio Rico is in business again. After that, how about Uriel Rivas finding his way to the end zone? 
That'll give the boys from Santa Cruz County a 14-0 lead. Coach Jeff Skern and Rio Rico, shh, now they, uh, they, they almost shut out, a, or rather, let's start from the beginning. They shut out a tough 3-1 and Empire team a week ago, and the defense almost gets another shutout tonight as the Hawks win for the second time in a row, 27-7. And from San Rita, let's head back over to Vail, where a budding rivalry could be in the making. Tucson's newest program, Micah Mountain, hosting Empire. I say rivalry because both these teams are from Vail, Arizona. Get this, first time these two squads from the Vail Unified School District will play each other in football. This is Jack. Jack's going to be kicking for Empire someday. Check back in about... 10 years. All right, Ravens and Micah Mountain, Daniel Rowe bringing the juice for the Empire defense. But the Thunderbolts with strike and strike often. Ethan Goodall going to be intercepted here by Dominic Leon. It was a pink out for the Battle of Vail. Jaden Thornson, he's pretty good. We've seen him before. The quick out here to Xavier Johnson, and X is going to do the rest. A 13 yard touchdown. And then Thornson going to roll away from some pressure here and show off his gun. 45 yards to Jonah Garcia. That's a touchdown. The route on Micah Mountain blows out Empire 48 to 6. So the Empire did not strike no, back. No, they did no. not strike back with Micah Mountain needing no Jedi tricks tonight. That's for sure. Just some hard nosed football. And David, we're far from over with. After the break, we continue our in depth coverage of high school football right here in the Old Pueblo. That's right, Paul. We're going to have our play of the night. It's something you do not want to miss. And Saguaro and Walden Grove also took the field. Also, Choya and Troy Wells were both hoping to get back in the win column. The Friday football fever rolls on and on and on.